Uh, what after this election, could there be a rise of a third party? Anyone out there who might bring some reality to government? I can't see much movement in a good way coming from the current circumstances. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree with your analysis. And I would like to see. I think there are two, uh, two possibilities here. One possibility is that we get a third party. Uh, and we get some of the better elements within the Republican Party and maybe the better elements within the centrist uh, Democratic Party peeling off, peeling off and uh, and embracing a third party. But I think more reasonably is that uh, we get a real fight, a real fight within the Republican Party for the future of the Republican Party. That is, we get a fight for what the Republican Party stands for. And we get people who are willing to reject kind of Trump's vision of the Republican Party. And who are willing to embrace a, a, a more rational view. That is a, polit a, a, a Republican Party that is more focused on free markets, a Republican Party that is more focused on the founding fathers, a Republican Party that is more focused on founding kind of principles, founding ideas of this country rather than the national conservatism, the anti-tariffs, anti-trade, anti-free market Republican Party that exists today, and who maybe uh, step away from their commitment, their absolute commitment to, um, to religion. Now, I don't expect that to happen. This country is still quite religious, uh, but at least not make religion a center of the party. So I think you can expect a real battle within the Republican Party. And let me just say, off the record, of course, nothing you say on YouTube is off the record. I've been approached by people within the Republican Party who are anti-Trump to form some kind of movement within the Republican Party post-election if Trump loses to fight for the soul of the Republican Party. And they've asked me to... to help them draw up a platform for such a movement. I won't officially be associated with them, partially because it can't be an objectivist platform. It has to be a platform that makes the Republican Party just more sane, just a little bit more reasonable, just a little better, right? Not a little bit, a lot better than what Trump has proposed. So it won't be a laissez-faire capitalist political party. That can't win an election. But it certainly can be. Because the American Capitalist Party, Jack says, why not the American Capitalist Party? Because the American Capitalist Party is too radical. The world is not ready for it. So what we need is to buy time. What we need is a, is a Republican Party that doesn't completely annihilate us. What we need is a Republican Party that moves us away from authoritarianism, not towards authoritarianism, that slows down the path towards the abyss. That's all we need right now. We need time to build up support so that we can establish an American capitalist party. So I'm quite happy to help anybody who wants to create a political party that is just, that is better than the current political parties that won't keep us moving in that direction, that moves us, takes us a step back from authoritarianism. So, and I, and I think the only way to do that, in a way that is electorally feasible in the short run, is to establish a is to save the Republican Party from itself, from Trump, really, not from itself, from Trump and from Trumpism and from Trump's uh, Trump like people, from the national conservatives, from the from the crazy uh, anti immigration, anti trade uh, perspective that Trump and so many within the political party now have. I mean, somebody says, what about George Jogerson? Who cares about George Jogerson? She she can't get she won't get more than three percent of the vote. So it's not it, she's not moving the country in any particular direction. She's not working to educate the American people on on better ideas. She doesn't have a big enough platform. She doesn't have the visibility. She's nowhere. 
And, and she's not that strong. I mean, she's better, obviously, but she's not that strong. Yeah, I mean, Rand Paul has become a Trumpist. So it's to save the Republican Party from those Trumpists. So take all those senators who are basically just followers, second-handed nothings, like Rand Paul. And if you can change the Republican Party and give it new leadership and a new voice, they will then follow along. So he'll still, he'll still continue. He'll, he'll just he'll follow something better than Trump. And that's our goal, is to have him follow something better than Trump. How would you differentiate a better Republican Party than from a Libertarian Party? Well, they won't be Libertarian. They won't be free market. They won't be as good as we would want them to be. But they would have 40 to 50% of the American public. So they would be for less regulations, not for zero regulations. They would be for smaller government, but not for much smaller government like we would be. They would be for more legal immigration, not for much more legal immigration like we would be. They would be for, you know, hopefully they'd be for free trade. That's a relatively easy one. Um, they would probably want a significantly bigger military than the libertarians would want and not the kind of military that I would want. They, they just would not be objectivist and they would not be purely free market. They would just be my, better than what they are today. I mean, even if you took, they would be Reagan. Was Reagan a libertarian? I will take at least the rhetoric of Reagan. Right? Pro-immigration, you know, pro-trade, pro-globalization, generally pro-markets, but not overly specific. And what you'd have to add, because we're not in the 80s anymore, is they'd have to be pro-reducing the size of government. You'd, they'd have to be willing to start paying back the, the deficit. Otherwise, we're screwed no matter what. Yeah, I mean, what we need is a Reagan or Thatcher. That would be fantastic if we could get the Republican Party of Reagan or Thatcher. Right? So I, I'm not saying it would be my political party. I would just help them on the edges to be a little bit more consistent than they will be if I wasn't part of the conversation. Now, who knows if they'll take me seriously. Who knows if any of this will happen. But I think we're going to have a major fight, a major battle within the Republican Party, within the, between the Trumpists and the better elements in the Republican Party. All right, let's see. Will Pence versus Harris be better? He's a gentleman. Yeah, but he's a religious nut. He's, he's, he's not particularly uh, articulate. He's not particularly bright. I mean, yeah, I, I, I would rather have Pence versus Harris than, than these two. But, you know, Pence is not my ideal candidate for the Republican Party, even for the Republican Party. I think they're much better people. Um, you know, I, I, I'd like to see what DeSantis does in, uh, for Florida, who, who seems to have handled this pandemic pretty well. I'd like to see um, I'd like to see Nikki Haley run and see under pressure what she's like and whether she can defend any kind of principles under pressure. I'd like to see the better elements in the Republican Party. I'd like to see them win long term. But for that to happen, they have to um, they have to overcome and they have to defeat the the the, the uh, you know the Trump elements within the Republican Party. That is the clash that's going to happen. That is the clash that's going to happen. And I look forward to it happening. And I look forward to helping in any way that I can the better elements. Not the good elements. Just the better elements. And helping them not in my role as objectivist, but just in my role as somebody who cares about this country and wants to buy time for objectivism. Yeah, Barry Goldwater, objectivist political part, Republican Party, is a little too optimistic. Can you avoid religious issues in assisting the Republican Party? Uh, probably not, but I think you can, you can mitigate those issues. Uh, I think the Republican Party, I think you can emphasize, you can de-emphasize the support for abortion. You can, you can get them away from... 
their attitude towards gay marriage and, and, and other things. Just tell them they've lost those challenges just to get over it and move on. Um, you know, so you, you can neuter the religious elements as much as you can. At the end of the day, no, this is why you have to buy time because we have to buy time to fight those religious elements. And I think there's a younger generation that is at least open to anti-religious arguments or non-religious arguments. But we need time to get to them. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>